Hi, my name is Agnes. I'm 24 years old and I was five years old when I was diagnosed with a peanut allergy. I'm a graduate student and I do health policy research in a hospital setting and I've been doing that for one and a half years now. When I started this position, um, right from the first interview that I had with my boss, um, I made it pretty clear that I had a food allergy and um, I could tell from the way that they talked about it that they took it quite seriously. Through my supervisor, the kind of accommodations that have really been helping me to manage my allergy in the workplace have been whenever we go out together to eat. I ask that people consult with me or that I'm involved in that decision in some way so I can help to just really make sure that we're going somewhere where I can participate fully. As well, everyone who I closely work with knows about my allergy and I found that they've been really mindful to not bring in food that contains my allergen peanuts. Of course, my supervisor and my teammates are very accommodating, but there are others who may not know and new people coming into the research institute all the time who might bring in my allergen. And if that's the case and I know about it, I take precautions. I bring my epinephrine auto injector everywhere that I go. I keep it in my bag and I feel a lot safer having it around. What I would recommend to someone starting out at a new workplace is to start with a having a really good conversation with your boss. Let them know exactly what the implications of your allergy are and that way they can go on to be your champions in the workplace. Another important tip I would say is to uh, take that time to educate the people in your workplace because often people have, the, have good intentions but they just may not know how to accommodate you. I think having this conversation about where you have to constantly introduce yourself and talk about your allergy and what people can do about it, like that conversation becomes easier over time for sure and that's been very comforting to me.